I am at the Salzburg Glockenspiel which is at the Salzburg Museum building and we are here to witness a very important tradition that's been going on since 1704. Now even in those times people needed to know when is the time to start work, when is the time for lunch and when is time to head back home and this was done by the sound of bells and we are in time for the bells to go on for lunch time and it's going to happen right here. The city's most famous squares include Residence Square with its splendid fountain as well as Mozart Square with the memorial of the city's genius loci. Now this is the Mozart Platz and that is Mozart himself, of course just his statue but this is a very famous place, this is used uh, for a lot of concerts that happen here, this is used during festivals and of course when in winter it's snowing heavily, this becomes an ice ring but for right now it's not snowing heavily so it's only me saying hi to Mozart. The central Mozart memorial is my Ludwig Schwanthaler. It opened in 1842 and the two sons of Mozart were present there at the opening. Mozart's widow, Constance von Nizen, had died half a year earlier in May 1842 in a house in Mozart Platz. Kash, mere naam par bhi ek square hota, Gaurav Platz. See, that sounds European too. I kind of like the sound of that. It's beautiful. So while you're in Salzburg, you see Mozart everywhere. What you see behind me is the flying Mozart. How he's doing that, I have no idea. You figure that out and then I'm going to show you the edible Mozart. I'm on my way. Okay, so it's time for the edible Mozart and it's in the form of the original Mozart Kugel. Now, this has been the pride of Salzburg since 1890. Now, this is a chocolate that you get only in Salzburg and a lot of it is handmade. Wow, I'm going to take a look at this. This is how it looks and, and from the shape itself, you can tell that this is handmade. <laughs> and now it's going to go... Uh, into my mouth. Mm. This is a small piece of Mozart. It's like flavors singing in your mouth. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. This is one souvenir you want to take when you're going from Salzburg. I'm going to take a lot actually. The Mozart Kugel, also known as the Mozart Ball, originally known as Mozart Bonbon, was created by Salzburg confectioner Paul Fürst in 1890 and was named obviously after Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The confectionery Fürst still produces the original Salzburg Mozart Kugel by hand and only sells them in its shops or over its website. Okay, this is another special and exclusive on weekend out in Salzburg in Austria. Uh, I'm sitting with Martin now, who's got a legacy behind him now. Um, uh, Martin is the great, great grandson of uh, the person who invented the original Salzburg Mozart Kugel. Uh, Martin, welcome to weekend out. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All mine uh, and, and I'm going to eat a lot of chocolate after this but this is the chocolate that you have to have uh, when you're in Salzburg and Martin is going to tell us a little bit, you, you know, the, 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 there's an industrial mass production of this as well. Uh, but what do you think separates your original Kugel? So the original Salzburg Mozart Kugel was invented in the year of 1890 by my great-great-grandfather Paul Fürst and uh, it, it was the first one. It is a... Um, a handmade product with high quality ingredients. Uh, it is not uh, shippable in the world. There are no conserving materials inside. So it's a, a, just a local product. While walking through another architectural delight, the Residence Platz or the Residence Square, I came across this lovely leather goods shop, Jean Markel, which specialized in traditional articles of clothing made out of deer skin. All right, while taking a walk here, I have stumbled upon something very, very interesting and something very, very unique. It's a store called Jean Markel. Yeah? Yes. 
and and uh, they make hand stitched leather and they are very very famous they have some very very famous people who come here and buy stuff for them they've got a lot of stuff but what's caught my fancy is this leather underwear i want to be your underwear is the song that i can think of right now this store has been here since 1408 and in the list of uh, very very famous and prominent personalities there's also been louis vuitton and this is the lady who has a bag gifted from louis vuitton because he bought a jacket from them and he gave her an lv bag yeah wow